got a J. Ray Slut Brigade shirt from back in the day. So we'll do that. Here's Titan calling. Let's see what Titan's got to say. Hold on a minute. Titan, hello. Hey, Ray, how you doing? All right, buddy. I'll tell you, if you hang up, I'll go ahead and bring you into the call. Sounds good. Okay. Let's bring Titan in like this, then. And we'll bring Titan in. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, there we go. Howdy, howdy. Hey, what's going on, bro? Uh -huh. It's going, it's going. No, that's that's a documentary you really have to have time for. Either that, don't watch it unless you don't have time. Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it, and uh, Jen Jen's seen it a few times, so, you know, and, and it's it's good. No question about it, it's good. No, it, it builds up to what you've been talking about before, about uh, GMOs, everything, what's going on, the banking system, people, the whole shebang government it's just unbelievable but yeah. yeah you definitely have to have time for it i don't i didn't ever even expect you to watch even 10 minutes of it oh no like, dude not no uh jen jen loves the documentaries i mean she she likes them a lot so um but you know every once in a while but I, I'm, I'm gonna watch that i saw food incorporated i haven't finished watching forks over knives yet you know like i say in the last three and a half weeks i've, I've dropped 18 pounds like in three weeks you know i got i got more to go who's that yeah. Granny Pam's calling. Okay, great. Granny Pam, hang up. I'll bring you in too. Let's get Granny Pam in a call here. Granny Pam got a slut brigade shirt. So we'll get her to come up. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> You're doing good. We're waiting for your camera so we can see your shirt. Oh, look at that. A J. Ray slut brigade shirt. Look at that. There it is. Fox slut, Ron slut. And actually, it doesn't. It actually looks very comfortable on you. Oh, it. Oh, it's comfortable. And plus, I can drink coffee while being a slut. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. The, <laughs> the Ron Fox mug. Got the Ron Fox mug. Look at that. You can drink and stink all in one one sitting. Yeah, that's Granny. Granny, you look. You look skinny in that shirt. Oh, thank you. Then I'm going to wear it constantly. There you go. There you go. And uh, Raunchy, if you don't know Joe, go say hey. He's a great long timer. Thank Joe. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so yeah. much. I yeah. love my thing. Hey, you know what? You're one of those old, old scraggly ass cunts that twerked on my show. Isn't that what they called you? Yeah. You and, and Jenny? I'm going to say <laughs> yeah. I laughed so darn hard. Me and my husband laughed and laughed. He was like, that's hilarious. And I said, I'm officially a slut and I'm in a gang. Who would have ever thought? That's right. And she doesn't do those anymore because now she's all serious. But back in the day, they were rocking. And you guys and girls got to understand something, you know. And, and hear me out. I'm not a cheapskate by any fucking means. But when people come in that never come to the show and start asking for shit, send me a mug, send me a shirt. It cost me seven bucks minimum to mail this shit anywhere. It's six ninety five to the East Coast, and you might add another eight or nine dollars to Canada. And I pay for all the shipping plus the cost to make the shirts, to make the mugs. I'm not whining because I give the shit away. But you guys and girls got to understand. Like a week ago, I probably spent over a hundred bucks in one fucking show, and that, and the, the last twenty five I just spent for Medium Ruth because I bought her an emote. And if you type raunch in parentheses, you'll get my emote that Farron bought me. So I just paid it forward. I had a contest on uh, the Foxcast one night, and, and Medium Ruth won. So uh, between that and sending out uh, three or four mugs, that was uh, 28 bucks for shipping for that. And uh, the mugs cost me about ten, uh, nine, nine, nine fifty, ten bucks a piece or whatever. It is. So you figure four, 40 there. So do the math. 40 and 25 is 65 and 28. So that's uh, 73 dollars I spent of my money for one fucking show one night. So, you know, don't say you tightwad and all that stupid shit that you say to me, you, you cheap bastard, give some shit away. Hey, you cheap fuck, why don't you buy something? The stuff's for sale, too. <laughs> it sounds like you have logistics, right? Of course I do. Like, I use Amazon payments, man. They'll tell you the last time you wiped your ass and if you used two or three <laughs> black toilet paper. Exactly. The thing is, I, you know, it ain't cheap, and I thank you. And again, I'm not complaining, but people got to understand, you know, that the shit's not free. It wasn't certainly wasn't free to make. It wasn't free to print, and it's not free to ship. So, you know, how about thank you? Fuck it, you're welcome. That's fine. You guys are all good like that. 
And anybody sees fucking jizz knows, when you see that fucking jizz knows, that motherfucker tried to call me out, hey, you didn't send me my shirt. You didn't send my mother's shirt, you liar. I sent him shit, and he's the only piece of shit, jizz knows, hear me out, everybody, and tell him Raunch Fox called you out. He's the only motherfucker that hasn't said thank you. Not only did I send him a shirt and a mug, I sent his mother a shirt. The wow. motherfucker hasn't even said thank you. And that's all I ask. I didn't say kiss my ass. But how about just being fucking nice about it? He, he gets fucking drunk, and I can't... I just want to fucking sna smack him. I can't talk to him when he's drunk. I'd, I'd rather talk to Fox Man Sean. Right. You know, when Sean's in a good mood, he's a happy drunk. This fucking guy, he, he gets drunk, he thinks bacteria is the back door to the cafeteria. He doesn't fucking get it. So... I'm going to tell you, my mug, I told my husband, yeah. So, again, I'm not being a prick. Hey, I, you, you, first you try to make me a liar, and now that he got this stuff, maybe he feels too fucking stupid to say, I say, hey, get on, get, come in and say thank you for the shit you got. That's all. He sent, yeah. me a, he sent me a little Minnesota mug. That's great. But he also said to me a week ago, oh, I'm sending you something. You're going to love it. I haven't got anything. So I, I should play his game and say, would you lie to me? You didn't say, I don't care. Um, we all, I bought, uh, where is it? I bought Nate's book. Look at this. I got, here. Look at look. Jen sent me Jenny's aunt, uh, Jenny sent me this this hot fucking birthday card. Look at this birthday oh card. Oh my god! Can anybody see that? Where am I? Look at that. Look at that fucking birthday card right there. You don't. That's just not. That's that's Jenny's. And and, and you open it up and here's what you get. That's right. Right there, baby. That's back in her young... I have one complaint. Go ahead. I have an address, and you didn't give it to me on my box with my stuff. Ah, well, that's the way it goes. You know, it's like the president. Well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not dangerous. Okay. All right, I'll hook you up. Adam Major Chaos gave me this. This is called... Uh, this is called... Oh, that's too funny. That Bobble Babes. Bobble Babes. It's a koozie. You unzip it, and you, and you put your... And you put your uh, well, I like those. It's got titties you can play with right here. Look. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you can play with the titties. That's a good card. Oh, I love it. You want to play oh, with titties? Put that with that oil. That's a dream holder. holder. And that's for Major Chaos. And then I got my Pimp Juice mug. Okay, that, okay, that holds, holds your, your beverage, beverage, right? Yes. Okay, okay thank God. God. That's, my, that's my Pimp Juice <laughs> mug right there. Either that or, you know, if I don't have a rubber, i got to catch it somewhere. Yeah. That's, that should be big enough. <laughs> So it is what it is. So I got a, uh, what else? I got shit everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so thank you for everybody that sent me stuff too. Glenn's the same way. He sent you. I got a bunch of fucking baseball cards from 1990 from Glenn. And they're mint condition, still wrapped up in a package. I don't want to open them. I'm, th I'm, th I'm, uh, I'm thinking it might be worth something. Civility costs nothing and buys everything. That's right, Red Dog. You're absolutely right. I agree. Um... And the darts are in, out in the other room. Mac Attack sent me some darts. He's right. Mac Attack sent me some darts. Uh, and he sent Jen a really nice necklace for her birthday. One of those holistic or, uh, uh, yeah, you know, the stuff like you get in Sedona. Spiritual. Anyways, nice. A nice one. She really liked it too, Mac. I was, you did a good job picking that out. So for Mac Attack to take the time to buy something says a lot. But, I mean, I've hooked Mac up too. We got Mac... Uh, what do we get, Mac? Shirts. He got a box of Omaha steaks. He caught me on a good day. And then he got some, uh, he got some, uh, fuck, I keep, uh, bean boozled, dirty sock flavored fucking jelly beans. Jolly, I don't fucking know. I don't eat candy, I don't eat candy anymore. This is the last thing I drank right here. I don't know if you can see that glass. It's empty now, but that was, uh, a fucking Nutri Blast with sides and chives and celery and carrots and cilantro and turmeric and spinach and banana and everything. This is this is the shit that Jen's got me drinking now. So I got no zits. I got nothing going on in the skin. It's good for your skin. It's good for my old ass. And I'm losing weight. So I'm um, I'm doing good. I like that. So how's like the healing that. process on the leg? Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. They, they have me on antibiotics now for almost two weeks, and it's pretty much cleared up. And it's from. I had a motorcycle burn on the back left calf from my uh, Harley pipe. I was I got off the bike and I'm standing in the garage. I got a little bit too close and I said, "Are we having chicken for dinner?" And then I realized it was the skin on my leg burning. 
So it was a second degree burn. It created a, I guess I didn't take care of it the way I was supposed to and it got a little infection under the skin and created a two inch 